Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, my name's Perry and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Angelus paints. So Angelus paints are paints for leather and fabric, so mostly used in the world of customising and especially on sneakers and on clothing and stuff like that. It's just a brand made for shoes and leathers and stuff. They advertise it to couches and, as well, but most people buy it to customise shoes or, as I said, clothing items or accessories like that. Um, and if you watch my channel, you would know that I do have done quite a few customising videos in the past and I hope to continue doing that. So today we have got these, this starter pack of Angelus paints. Um, so as you can see, it's in this paper bag, parcel post, I'll show you a 3D version of it. Covered up where I live because I don't really want you stalking me. So as it, as it says, um, no stalking for you if you are a stalker. Um, get off this video now. So now let's get into the actually unboxing slash tearing side of things. So just gonna pull it off here. Oh. You can have the first look. I haven't seen this. So pull it out. I think it has bubble wrap, right? Yep, okay, so it has bubble wrap. Um so Obviously, you don't have the first look, and we're going to have to look together since it has bubble wrap around it. Oh God! Thick layers, thick layers. Um, I'm just going to slide this out. There's the bubble wrap. Pop that later. Um, so here it is. Um, the Angelus Basics Kit. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. If you're full thing up around here so you can see all around it there this um and this was 75 australian dollars so i think that goes down to about roughly 60 american but you know americans would probably just buy it off the site um i brought this off ebay so obviously someone in america has brought this off the site and you know sell, sold it on ebay so other people that aren't in America or I think it might be Canada can have it. So as a first glance, we've got red acrylic paint, yellow and blue. So they're all the complementary colors. I mean, not the complementary colors, the primary colors. Um, my artist brain was not working then. Um, so these can be mixed together to make basically any colors, but then you've got the black and the white so you can make every color because these let you shade the colours so you make, might make a darker purple or a lighter purple or a darker green or a lighter green and um, yeah you can just mix all these colours together to get whatever you want um, obviously some people buy the um, the greens and the uh, blues and the purples and stuff like that um, because they can't be bothered to um, you know mix them together and also if you're wondering what this is down here, well, this is a professional leather prepper and deglazer. So it just gets um, the leather and stuff ready for you to paint on so the paint doesn't peel off or get damaged as much. And also there is some finisher that doesn't come in this paint, but you can just use like crepe or, other, or any other sort of paint to finish that off. Um, and also we've got some chisel tip brushes in here which are the best kind for um, customising because they give you the blocks of paint and because usually when you're customising you're doing um, bigger circles um, but also they have got a really thin brush in here for doing the fine things. Um, so let, as I think I've given you a good rundown on what it looks like outside the box so let's get into them. This box, um, yeah. So yeah. Oh, thought I had to tear it, but it's pretty easy. Let's slide this out. We don't won't be needing this anymore. It's actually a pretty nice box, actually. Um, so here we go. Uh, here are the paints out of the box. 
So I'm just going to slide this out. That wasn't as smooth as I expected. Okay, so we'll go for the paints first. I mean the brushes first, sorry. We have got a, a round brush um, for, it says on the back, for thin lines, smaller details and monogramming. Don't know what monogramming is. Um, hit me up in the comments if you do. So it's in this little plastic brush um, um, sleeve, I guess, and just leave that there. Then we have got the six flat, which is for square shapes, square edges, filling and blending. We have got the six filbert. filbert. Um, it's got rounded edges, paint control, and it's also used for blending as well. We've got the uh, 10 flat, which is used for base coats, broad strokes and heavy blending. And we've got the half angular brush. And this is used for angle shapes, edge, edge detailing and multiple lines. So as you can see, it comes out with the full kit, all in these separate bags. Um, so that's pretty cool. Just going to push these over to the side and we'll get into the paints, which is, I guess you could say, the main focus for this one. Come off with this, oh god, sticky stuff. Very sticky. It's like glue something. Okay, so we've got the black acrylic paint. This is the smaller jars. You can get bigger if you are, um, you know, you're going to use this colour a lot, which I probably am, but this is what it came in in the starter pack. Um, here is, oh, that didn't come off with anything. That's pretty good. Um, so we've got the white acrylic paint in, yeah, leather paint. So they go together. Then we've got the, oh, oh that glue is very hard, is very sticky. Um, so and then we've got the red, for our complement, oh, see, keep saying complementary, primary colours. Um, then we've got the yellow and the blue for our primary colours. God, this glue is extremely sticky. Uh, uh. There, and then finally we have got the leather um, prepper and deglazer. Sorry guys, I forgot to say bye. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Sorry, this is a pretty crap video. I didn't really know what to say and I said things a lot. It, um, what I was going to say sort of went in my head and then I just replaced it with things instead of actually saying it. Um, so yeah, bye.